Ladies and gentlemen, this is where it's time happened. There the hill is now empty. The cross is on the other side over there. There's the little car that I slept in. The big white tent was over here. This is where all the VIPs came in on this road, and they came through this gate. And at one time, during the service, I was manning this gate. I was volunteering my services. I believe in servant leadership. Now, I want to talk to you about something. To all of those that were here, please send this out to everybody that was here on WhatsApp. So, and wherever else, what other media you want to use. When uh, Angus Buchan led the, the people in personal repentance, there was a slight breeze that took place. And then when he prayed over the nation and asked for forgiveness of the nation, and we all stood in agreement with that, there was a whirlwind that came in from that side over there, and it came right down toward the stage. When it got to the stage, it jumped right over the top of the stage and came down here. Remember, I was manning this gate. I watched this um, whirlwind descend. It came straight down. I've never seen a whirlwind do that. Usually whirlwinds, they tear through the field, and there they go. And it's just one big dust cloud up in the sky. This came down and stood. There were, there were about uh, 10 or 15 uh, police officers that witnessed this. There were a lot of other uh, people that were uh, watching this uh, thing event take place behind the uh, platform. And the stage. What is the significance of this uh, dust storm? The vortex was about two foot wide. It must have been about 40 feet high. And uh, it was about, so the vortex was about six inches off the ground. And it was sucking up all the dirt. And it was forming a big dust cloud up there in the sky. Straight up. Straight up. And when I looked up, I saw a blue and a white balloon way up there. And then I looked back at the uh, whirlwind, and the whirlwind started sucking itself in, and it lifted, and it went straight up. It didn't go off in any directions. It went straight up, and there was like a brown cloud as it lifted with all the dust and so on, and it eventually caught up to where the, uh, the balloons were. What is the significance of that? Am I reading into things here? Well, let's have a look. When you go back to Scripture and you go back to the tabernacle and the uh, Israelites or the Hebrews then, they would bring their animal of sacrifice for Passover. We had just gone through Passover. Uh, others call it Easter. And um, uh, they brought their sacrifice, a little lamb, and they'd come to the priest. And the priest would take the lamb, slaughter it, put it on the altar. And um, the, the fire would consume it and the smoke would rise. And the smoke would do one of two things. It would either blow off to one side or it would go straight up okay if it went straight up and it was suddenly vanished into the cloud of glory the sacrifice had been accepted that little group would go out and they'd be so happy about their sins being forgiven but if it blew off in a certain direction God had rejected that sacrifice, and the priest would say to that family, you need to go and make right whatever's, whatever has to be fixed. Go do it the way God wants it, and then bring another lamb, and we'll sacrifice it. We also see in Scripture, Jesus died on the cross. That was his altar. John the Baptist said, behold the lamb that takes away the sin of the world. When Jesus died, he was placed in the tomb. He rose on the third day. He was seen amongst the people and the disciples for 40 days. On the 40th day, he ascended into heaven. When he rose up, as he was going up, a cloud came around him and suddenly he was gone. The Lamb of God had been accepted. The sacrifice had been accepted for the sin of the world to him who believes. So, in the Old Testament, we had the Lamb and the smoke. In the New Testament, we have the Lamb of God. And we see him ascending to heaven, accepted. I want to say to you today that that whirlwind came, it jumped over the stage and it landed here. And eventually it went up and there was this brown cloud. Brown in scripture is significant of sin. The sin offering was going up that we were offering. Angus was the priest. The platform was the altar. The people had come. In repentance for the nation. 2 Chronicles uh, 7.14 And I want you to know God has heard the cry of the people. And he's going to heal this nation. The cloud ascended and suddenly it was gone. I saw it vanish. 
The balloons were gone too, but the blue speaks of heaven. When you look at scripture and what is blue, it's heaven. And the white speaks of righteousness. The, 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 the nation is righteous before God because the people repented. This is Dr. Dez. I just want to encourage you with this. God is on the throne. He has forgiven South Africa. And we are about to see great things happen in this nation. Blessings and shalom.